Yeah, ma'am. Right. No? No. Um, Councilman Gowan? Uh, I want to say that uh, we had a meeting about a week ago with the Parks and Trails Committee. Chuck was there and he took diligent notes and I haven't seen them, but I'm sure that they're very, very good. Uh, we had about a half a dozen people there. I wish we had more people there. Uh, we came up with some good ideas, but the real problem is, okay, that's a good idea. Okay, who's going to do it? Who's going to... Um, get it done, how are we going to make decisions and things like that. Uh, Chuck, when is the next meeting? Uh, the third, the third Tuesday of next month, third Wednesday of next month. Okay, so uh, hopefully uh, more people will be in attendance at the meeting and we can make some decisions. As I told uh, Chuck, uh, a good time to plant trees if that's part of uh, the objective is in the fall and fall's going to be over with before we get started on anything if we're not in there. We had discussions about what are we going to do with Matthews Park and we all thought that there really isn't anything down there to do except for some t-ball games that are in the springtime but other than that there's very little that anybody could use the park for. We would love to get some ideas. Um, I'm glad to see that there is going to be a flight football on the outfield at uh, Linden Park. Um, Washington Park looks good. Uh, we talked about maybe uh, make it, making some applications. I understand that uh, Senator Kane was asking for suggestions for outdoor recreation activities. Uh, and I think Chuck was volunteered to create a list and then we would submit them to Senator King. Uh, I want to thank uh, Chuck. Uh, I, meant, I mentioned something about weeds along the sidewalks of Jefferson Street. And my God, he's already done it. So he did a very, very good job there. I was glad to see that. I want to thank everybody that came here today. I want to thank our supervisor from uh, representing Clifton Forge West, Mr. Dodds over there. Uh, for all you who do not know him, that's what he looks like. And everybody else who is, uh, came to the meetings, I didn't hear from all of you. Some just sit and listen, and that's good too. But anyway, that's all I have to say. Put that hand in the chair, it's not Thank you. Put that hand in the chair. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. Um, I heard a lot of very interesting and very poignant comments. Uh, Ace, I want to do something to help you. I don't think we're, uh, in my opinion, I don't think we're communicating well. I deal well with pictures and you tell me what you want to do. Maybe we can help. Um, my wife and I walk every day to Clifton Forge, and I'm amazed at the people of this community. We had a, I guess, how long did Mr. Allen live here? How old was he, Don? 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 Yeah. He's 85. 85. Yeah. My wife and I would walk at least five times a day, and he would drive by and honk at us. And it was really bizarre because that same black car went past us today and honked again. <laughs> and I thought my wife was going to pass out. <laughs> Clifton Forge is doing very well. Uh, now that we're going to serve hot dogs, pop, and popcorn on Sundays at the movie theater, I'll probably be gone. If I can get a free meal, I'm gone. <laughs> Diane, I, I would really appreciate it if you would apply for that committee and get on it. And I think we ought to check in to see if you can be on both of them. Because we're hard pressed to find people to do things as volunteers, to do anything anymore. So anybody that wants to volunteer, I think we ought to be willing to help them. I want everybody to understand I'm not against the love sign. I just have a lot of questions. And it, until my questions are answered, I don't change my mind. It's just what it is. I think it should be visible. Visible. So people walk, drive through Clifton Fords that didn't come to see it. Oh, there it is. That's a love sign. I think I'll stop and take my picture with it. It doesn't have to be a destination. I think it can be a mistake. I found something I can see and deal with. 
Winter's coming pretty soon. Enjoy it while you got it because pretty soon we'll be griping because it's zero degrees. Because we did gripe for a long time. I think the state of Virginia and Allegheny County had more 90 degree days this year than they've had in the last 100 years in one year, which is amazing to me. And my life is going to get better. I'm going to lose one of my daughters. She's going to get married Sunday in the mall in D.C. Wow. No, wow. The wow is how much money it's going to cost me. <laughs> so thank you for coming out. Be safe. We'll see you in either two weeks or three weeks or four weeks. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. Uh, yep. I do like to thank everyone for showing up tonight and coming out. I'd like to thank everyone that's involved with the love sign and the great job they've done with it. And also to the theater group that's, uh, you know, working with us and, and involved with it. And everybody working together to get it done. I'd like to thank Ace Hardwire for everything they do. And uh, just be patient with us. We'll work out all this out. And thank you for even having your businesses here. I'd like to thank the theater, too, for the movies and everything we're starting back. Uh, I'm glad to see the fountain at the bank going again. Yes. I even stopped by once tried to take a picture and got a little wet and was shooting real high. That you night. did that? Yeah. yeah. I'd like to thank Jack Mason's Tavern for the donation they did for the dog park. As usual, they did a wonderful job. And I'm glad to see uh, Board of Supervisor Greg Eyre again tonight. Thank you for coming. May God bless every one of you. Thank you. Well, I want to thank you all for coming out tonight. I uh, really appreciate your interest in the business of town business. Um, thank you. I'm getting used to seeing you now, Mr. Dow. I saw you at the funeral Sunday, so I appreciate you showing up here at our meetings as well. I just want to uh, mention the, home, the hometown heroes. Um, I do apologize for rushing through that. I just, when I w looked out there and saw the number of people, and it was so hot, all I was thinking, I gotta get these people out of here as quickly as I possibly can. But I was remiss in not thanking Clifton Ford cheerleader, Ma Asselhoff, for helping us with all of those certificates. And we have a host of unseen hometown heroes called our volunteers. So I wanna thank them all too. Um, I thank you, Ron, for helping get that fountain back on down at the bank. I was so glad to see that um, happening. Um, and thank you all for the work you're doing on the love sign. I think that's awesome. I try to get, set my clock to be at that meeting in the morning at 10 o'clock. If I'm not there, I overslept. And thank you, Mr. Overstreet, for your patience. So I hope we'll have something for you in October. But I really do appreciate, I appreciate Ace being here. Thank you very much. Uh, I did want to mention Don Allen. He was once a public works director. He died and his funeral was Sunday. He was 85 years old. But in his 80s, I have seen him standing with our public works people looking over in holes. So he knew where every water line was in this town and every sewer line in this town. He also knew people that were coming in and leaving. He knew where everybody lived also. So he was the unofficial mayor and I hope to have a, a resolution for him at our next meeting because he was deserving of that. Um, Susan, thank you for the work you did with the health department. You gave me my shot. Thank you. And I do appreciate that because people are afraid. People are angry. Uh, we are divided over masks and vaccination, and so um, any help keeping people safe, I, gr I greatly appreciate it. Thank you all for being here. And with that, may I get a motion to go into closed session.